It's post time for the eighth. The field is at the gate for the first Molson Pace elimination. Legal litigator is favored at 6-5 to five here. McDonald having a good night already. He and Coleman just paired up to win with Western Silk in that third gold elimination. Elimination number one for the 2010 Molson Pace lined up and set to go. Here they come. And they're off. Keep it real. And McNair trying to ambush them from the outside. But between horses, Stonebridge Terror and closer to the cones, legal litigator. McDonald and McNair to tangle early. It's legal litigator by two. Keep it reels on the outside looking in, and Miller's not about to give up that hole. It's three lengths further to primary purpose. They're going at a very, very fast pace in the early going, a pace that Bay of Sharks could not stay flat through, and he's off stride again. They pass the opening quarter with legal litigator in front in 26 and one-fifth seconds. McDonald has the favorite out in front. Stonebridge Terror is second. Keep it real, had to go back to third. Now forwards on the move from fourth with primary purpose. Coming after legal litigator who's looking for a little bit of a breather here. Callahan sets it up with Southwind Lynx, second over, fifth on the outside. Trailing the main body is Anderlecht, well back to a troubled bay of sharks. It's legal litigator in front through the first lap in 55 and 2 so a more reasonable 29 and 1 second quarter for legal litigator he's in front by two lengths primary purpose on the outside with one speed and moderate gain into second down inside Stonebridge Terror third. South Wind Lynx is poised to pounce. Fourth on the outside, but he's got to go early because primary purpose is backing through the field. Down toward the rail, keep it reels, waiting for room. And starting up from the back of the pack is Anderlecht. It's still legal litigator. Patented McDonald here. He got a nice breather in in the middle half. Three quarters and one, 23 and two. They head to the far turn in elimination one. And Stonebridge Terror is out of the pocket looking to spring the upset for Miller. Legal Litigator trying to come back on. Southwind Lynx is flat. Keep it real with nowhere to go. As the field turns for home, Stone Bridge Terror on the outside of Legal Litigator. Southwind Lynx coming again. Legal Litigator's game on the inside. Stonebridge Terror hanging. Legal Litigator and Stonebridge Terror in a thriller. In the first Molson pace elimination, it's either the favorite at even money or Stonebridge Terror at 19 to 1. Hold all. The time of the mile, 152 and 1. In the photo. The winner is two Stonebridge Terror. Second number one, Legal Litigator. Third number four, Southwind Lynx. Fourth number six, Keep It Real. The 19 to one longest shot in the board has just taken the first elimination in 152 and one. Well, you know that old saying, anything can happen in a horse race? Well, it just did. Stonebridge Terror, in an absolute thriller, takes the first Molson Pace elimination. A four-year-old stud horse by Western Terror. He's owned by Dave Lumsden, Reg Pettipaw, and the All-In Racing Stable. Trained by Jean-Louis Arsenault and driven to victory by David Miller. Stonebridge Terror picked a fine time to get his second win of the year. 152 and 1 fifth seconds is a new season's mark for the son of Western Terror. 
Greg Gangles standing by down trackside with winning trainer Jean-Louis Arsenault, who Greg has got to be thrilled. Jean-Louis, a huge win for this guy. Longest shot on the board, two-hole trip. Things couldn't have worked out any better for you. Well, the horse didn't know that he was the longest shot on the board. Um, we had a good position, the two-hole, which was very good. Mark leaving like hard. I mean, this is a nice horse. I mean, it was only his third start back. He sort of made a half a million last year. I mean, uh, he, to me, it was a nice horse. You get a good position, you get on this, especially on this track here when he gets around a half real good. Um, you know, I mean, he worked out perfect, but he was real good. Reg Patapa and yourself had uh, Silent Swing in here last year, and uh, now you got Silent Swing coming into the final. We know that post position is a, you know, a major concern coming into the final. But how do you feel your guy stacks up now that he just won, you know, being the longest shot on the board, coming into the final next Friday night? Well, it would be a pure soft position. I raced Silent Swing three times there in the final, and he drew the outside twice, and uh, the other time he had the inside, he just got beat. So uh, it's, it's very important here. I mean, not every horse get around this track real good. It's the, tight, the turns are tight. Uh, it's all position. It's, uh, that's the, the main thing here. David Miller flew in to, to drive this Colt, and I guess obviously he's very happy being a long shot on the board. You win the race, but what did you tell him prior to the race time? I uh, know, just a nice horse to drive. Everybody that drove him says just a push button horse to drive. He don't wear a head pole, so he's pretty straight in the half. Um, you know, just a nice horse. Give him a chance to win, that's all. Good luck next Friday. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> Jean Louis Arsenault with the winning trainer of uh, Stonebridge Terror in tonight's can first I, elimination of the Molson Pace. Can I say hi to all the owners down in New Brunswick? They're watching on TV. Hi, right, guys. We'll see you next week in the final. There you have it. Thank you. Thank you, Jean-Louis. Thanks, guys. Stonebridge Terror pays $40.80 to win the first elimination. 2-1 exactor, almost 116. 2-1-4 triple, $260.20. The 2-1-4-6 super, a nickel shy of $623. It's going to be tough to top that. An absolute thriller to get things underway. Elimination number two is coming up next. Where number five, Carnivore adds blinkers.